In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do the wavy stitch. And I'll be showing you how to do it in rows. And you can use any size yarn and any hook that goes well with that size yarn. Okay, to do our single crochet, I mean, to do our wave stitch in rows, we want to do it in sets of 14 plus 2 to have on the ends, and then plus 1 because we can't actually go into the second, I mean, I mean the actual last stitch from the chain, so you have to do that plus 1. So you want to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that'll be what we need for our first set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, we have what we need for our actual stitches, but we also need an ending on one side and the other. So you put one for one ending and then two for the other. So you have one extra stitch for here and one extra stitch for this side. Now you can't actually go in without losing a stitch. You'll lose one of the end ones that you need. So you need to do an additional chain. And that's what I mean by plus one more. So now you can use by skipping that one and you'll lose it immediately. And you can single crochet in the next stitch. Now I recommend going ahead and to give yourself a good um, anchor to go ahead and single crochet down all of your stitches. You should have a total of 30. Okay, now I have a chain of 30. So this would be great for to make an afghan with or you can make a scarf. Having about 30 is kind of a wide scarf, but it's still good. So chain one, and if you if you wanted to do less than 30, Remember, you need to chain 14 and then chain an additional two so that you have a stitch on this side and a stitch on this side. So you have a total of 16 and then chain one more to give you that chain that you can go back and start. So you'll have to chain uh, 17 and then you'll have 16 stitches. And that would be kind of a small scarf, but it's up to you. So you want to chain one and turn. So you want a single crochet in the first stitch and then you want to skip three stitches one two three and in the fourth you want to do seven double crochets one two three four five six and seven and then you want to skip three, one, two, three, and then the fourth, do a single crochet. Four, five, six, and seven. And again, you want to skip three, and then the fourth one here, you want to do seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then again, skip three. And then on the fourth, start your single crochets. One, two, three, four, Six and seven, and then go ahead and do your last single crochet as your plus one on this side, and chain one and turn. And now for this row, you want a single crochet in each stitch. And if you want to make a nice look, you can always change colors here to kind of go in between each. For this row only, you want a single crochet in each stitch 
until you get to the other side. So when you get to the row, it looks like this. This is your one, two, three. This is your third row. So for your fourth row, you want to chain one, which I already did, and turn. Now you always want to do a single crochet in the first and in the last stitch of the round. So always do your first single crochet and now over the top of your shell you want to do your seven single crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you want to skip three stitches one, two, three, and then the fourth, you want to start your shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And again, every time you do a shell or a set of seven single crochets, you always want to make sure you chain, I mean, you skip three stitches. So we're going to skip three stitches and in the fourth, over this fan or shell, you want to do your seven single crochet. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you want to skip three again. And then in the fourth, you want to do your seven double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you skip three and in the last stitch, as always, you'll always single crochet. Then you want to chain one and turn. For some reason mine isn't. I'm going to go into this last little stitch here. You just want to keep it straight. Now, when you chain one and turn, single crochet always in the first stitch. And after you do a row of shells and the seven single crochets and you're skipping the stitches, after every row like this, you will always have a row of single crochets that bring you back. And every row of single crochets, you can use uh, an advantage of adding more color by changing your color of your yarn. just uh, an idea. So I'm going to do one single crochet in each of my stitches and I'll see you here at the end of this row. Okay, when you've come to the end of your row, as always, chain one and turn. And again, as always, you'll automatically do one single crochet in the first stitch. Now, since you did your shells here last time, you want to now move your shells this round up to here. So, not counting the first stitch, because you already have a slip stitch in there. You want to count over, you want to skip three, count over to the fourth stitch, and put your shell inside of it. Your shell or your fan. Have seven double crochets all in the same stitch. Five. Six and seven. Then you want to skip three. One, two, three, and then this fourth one. You want to do start your seven single crochets. So four, five, six, and seven. And then again, you want to skip three stitches and then the fourth do your seven double crochets. Five, six, and seven. Then again, you want to skip three. And then this fourth stitch, you start your single crochets. just like that. 
and then when you want to flip it over again, you want to do all of your rows of single crochets. And then again, when you turn it, you'll chain one and single crochet into your first stitch as usual. And then you will just do your single crochets of seven immediately after your first single crochet. So you'll actually have totals of eight single crochets total here before you start to skip your three stitches and then now you'll be putting a shell up above and you just keep alternating back and forth and you're always going to have a row of single crochets in between and that is how you do the wavy shell stitch